how I'm doing this, if I can bring this into focus, there we go, is I just took all my books, put them on the floor. These are all piles right here. I have favorite authors. So I feel like if I get rid of one of their books, I feel like I'm going to betray them. My absolute favorite Augustin Burroughs is in there somewhere. I got some books that are just gorgeous. I got books because I want to learn a new hobby, like that crochet book, cookbooks. I mean, I just gathered all of my books. and excited I am with the results. I only have about a shelf and a half left of books before it goes on to my husband's and our family books. I have no regrets about the books that I got rid of. I was able to create a shelf on top just for Gwen. My husband, while inspired, didn't grab everything and put it in the center of the room, but he did thin out the bookcase a lot. And now I can just look at our bookshelf and smile because I can see the titles that I love. I can see the titles that I do want to read. And I can see like where, how many books Gwen has too. The most fascinating part about this whole experience is gathering all my books in the center of the room and picking them up one by one. It was amazing how much energy was just stored and trapped in this crowded bookshelf. I gotta say, every single book had some sort of an electrical charge. Now, I only did my books, but feeling that energy, I knew that it had to be done. Even if I kept every single book, I had given new life to them. I know that sounds silly, but if you knew my passion about books, I was so scared going into this. I worked at a bookstore for 10 years because of my passion for books. I met my husband while working there and we share that same love. And now the, the, re the amount of respect I can give my books by seeing each title, having them stand up straight. I would love to know how you guys feel about your books and sorting through them. Please let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.